This is uh, the flashback scene of Thomas Cromwell uh, in his youth. His father works as a, a blacksmith. There's a, a fight between his father and himself and it colours his actions in the future. The location has to be accurate for the script first. So it has to have all the correct rooms, the look, the feel. And then there are the sort of boring practical things that are also highly important, like parking, accessibility. We're filming over 17 weeks. Being available, we have to ensure in the location department that we keep it tidy, clean, protected. We're filming in, I think, six National Trust properties. From a production design point of view, it is 500 years old and feels 500 years old and looks 500 years old. And Whereas if you're building sets three, four weeks before you film, however much distressing you do, it's difficult to give it that lived-in feel that feels authentic. It helps bring a, a realness to the project, which is something that's very much at the heart of Hillary's books. People forget we have to do sort of things like leave the lawn uncut for two weeks, which is really interesting because people you wouldn't necessarily think we don't want striped lawns in the Tudor period. It's when you've got 15, 20 lorries turning out, in and out, crew, all sorts going on. It's a big operation. They're actually using uh, the majority of the house for the shooting. In fact, there's only five rooms in the house which aren't being used. Um, so this particular room we're in now, the Fetter Place room, will actually be Jane Seymour's bedroom. All of the National Trust collection has been removed, so it'll be those with a very keen eye who recognise the house. Everywhere we went, uh, we've had to take all the furniture and paintings out of every house, replace it with our own dressing, and then put everything back. When you're filming in the gardens, both the gardens are beautiful, but you get this amazing setting of the building in the background and you can see all of that. So although the interiors are lovely as well, for me, being outside in the gardens has been the most special thing. This is my idea of what I thought Wolf Hall would be like. 